Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy Luby with Cindy's Cards and More, and welcome to another quick and easy card. Today's Tuesday, and it's 10 o'clock, and it's time to make a wonderful card using the In Symmetry stamp set. I just love this set. It is so much fun. You can make so many different cards with this as far as doing a pattern, or you can just do this as a focal point today. And today I'm going to actually make a flower out of this, believe it or not. And I'm going to use these leaves, and then I'm going to make my, my own background out of all these different um, stamps. So, hey, you don't always have to use designer series paper to do a wonderful card. And um, I'm going to be using these wonderful colors today, Flirty Flamingo, Just Jade, Knight of Navy, and Bumblebee. And you know what my inspiration was is we have a designer series paper that is called Sweet Symmetry. And what I did is um, one of the ways that you can always look for different colors to use that are together is look at your designer series paper pack. It will tell you all the different colors in there and that those colors go together. So that's how they designed a lot of the paper in that pack. If you want to see some of that information, I did a video yesterday, and I'm not sure if all of you are aware that I have a business partner, and her name is Elaine Pelletier, and she's over at Paper Crafts by Elaine. And I do a video over there every Monday, and I used to share that on my Cindy's Cards and More. But what we decided is that I would do my videos on Tuesday and do a different card out of the same, same stamp set as um, for Monday. So Monday will be one card and Tuesday will be over at Cindy's Cards and More with a different card. That way um, you have two different ways of looking at things and that um, you've got two cards that you can look at. So you can actually go over to Paper Crafts by Elaine. And she can, um, this is where I actually used a design and used the Stamparatus. So I actually will show you on that particular video how to use your Stamparatus to make multiple cards and do a quick and easy design with this um, stamp. So that will be a great way for you to kind of go over and look at that over at Paper Crafts by Elaine. So that kind of shows you, kind of explains a little bit about my business. Um, I do my own designs also, but we do share a lot of our business uh, together, which really does help out because, you know, sometimes it takes a, a, a lot of people to help out getting your, your business going and, and do a lot of creativity. And that way I feel like it's a bonus for us because you get her creativity when she does her scrapbook Wednesday and her tips and ticks tips and techniques on Friday. And then you get my quick and easy cards um, Monday over at her site and Tuesday at Cindy's Cards and More. And then every once in a while, I throw in an extra video. So you just never know. So let's get started with this card today. So um, like I said, these are the, the colors that I'm going to use. And this is another little tip that I do is when I'm looking at whatever stamps I'm going to be using, I actually put them on the front of my um, stamp cover. That way I can keep track of where they're at. I don't always have to keep going inside and looking for that particular stamp. And sometimes I already set them up in blocks too. But this way, once I've used the stamp, I put them back here. And then when I'm all done, I go ahead and put them back in the case. This way I don't have to keep going back and forth or leaving them on my table where sometimes they get misplaced. What can I say? You know, they're sticky and they stick to other things. They stick to your arm. They stick to the stamp cases. So you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. So let's go ahead and get this started. Now, I'm going to do doing some layering, like I mentioned. So I'm going to start with doing the flower first. And that um, piece is two and a half by four. And then I'm going to layer it with Knight of Navy, which is two and five eighths by four and an eighth. So that will get you started with this particular piece. So this is a flower that I'm going to do. And like I said, I'm going to make a flower out of this. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me make a little space for myself here. Okay. And like I always do, I always um, get my stamp seasoned a little bit. So I make sure it's got some good ink on it. And one of the things that I have to do is I'm going to bring this down just a little bit so I don't hopefully get my head in the camera, but I need to go all the way to the top 
Now I am getting my head in the camera a little bit here. This is always a challenge for me, but I'm going to try to get this even and stamp it. But I want to go all the way to the top because my flower is going to be taking up this whole uh, design here. Now, all I have to do is flip this over to the other side, and that's how I'm going to make my flower. So this is what it's kind of going to look like once I connect it all. So isn't that pretty? Such an easy way. You never, you never would think about doing that. Now, if you get ink on your block, all you have to do is make sure you wipe that off because you don't want to get that on your card. But I'm going to go ahead and, and connect those two. Let's see, you're getting my head in the camera again. It's always difficult to do this with trying to get things even and not get your head in the camera. Ah, I think that worked. Hey, how's that? <laughs> so there's our flower for our flower. Now it uh, has um, a stem that is in your stamp set. So I'm going to go ahead and use the stem. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on a block. But first, I think before I do that, I'm going to use my two leaves. Now, my leaves I'm going to do in the other colors that I mentioned. So I've got um, Just Jade I'm going to do as one of my leaves. And I'm going to use Night of Navy as my other one. I just wanted to make this colorful. so Because if you look at that paper, that's kind of what inspired me um, with these colors, is this looking at our designer series paper. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this, make sure it gets good and inked, which it is. And I'm going to put that underneath. Put that kind of in the middle, underneath, see if hopefully I'm getting it even. Yeah, I think it is. Like I said, it's always a challenge. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to my Night of Navy, and I'm going to do the same thing. That's going to be my other leaf underneath. And let's see if I can do that properly. All right, we got that going. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it with my stem. So I'm kind of done with those leaves. So what I'm going to do, see what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that back on here so I know I'm done with that. I can go ahead and prep another stamp that I'm going to be using down the road for the inside of my card. Now I'm going to take my stem, and if you kind of look, you go, oh, the stem's too short. Now what are we going to do? Well, there's, there's a little tip with that. So I go ahead and make sure I try to put that on as even as possible on my block. And a lot of times what I do is I just set it down, and I pick it up with my block. Makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to tap this, and again, I'm going to test that. What I'm going to do is I want to connect that to the flower and, it, and just see where this space is. That's where I'm going to put it down and stamp that. And what you can do is just you can go ahead and stamp it again, and you won't even notice that you extended it. Look at that. See, this is what I mean. So see how you can do that? I extended it all the way to the bottom, and you can't even tell that. So it actually looks like that was one continuous stamp. How is that? All right, so we have that put together. Now we're going to go ahead and make our background. So we're going to go up here. Hi, Denise. How are you doing? Glad you can join me. So this is um, four by five and a quarter. And this is what I'm going to do on my background. Um, and I'm going to put that on the Knight of Navy as my card base. So what's, what I like about this is that I'm going to use all these colors, all four of these. I'm going to use um, Just Jade, the Knight of Navy, the Flirty Flamingo, and I'm going to use the Bumblebee. Because those are all the colors that were in that inspiration of that DSP that I really liked. So I thought, why not? But I'm going to make my own kind of card. You know how that goes. I like to, once I get creative, I like to, a lot of times on my cards, make my own background. So these are the um, the, the card, the stamp I'm going to use. I'm going to be using this flower, which I'll show you on the stamp set here. This flower, I'm going to be using this small flower, these leaves, and this little tulip. So those are going to be um, my pieces that I'm going to be using. Let's see. Well, I'm not going to use that tulip yet because I don't want to lose it. So what I normally do when I'm making my own background is I use my largest stamp first as my base. And that's going to be in Just Jade. 
And um, I normally do kind of odd numbers. Odd numbers seem to work. Um, I guess that's the theory. So it's not everything is even when you're making a card. Um, but I like to do a little bit of, um, and I do it random. I do it random throughout the card, just making sure that you kind of see a little bit of um, the flower everywhere. Because, you know, I am going to be putting that flower on here. So you're really not going to see kind of this portion of the card. But you're going to see all around the edges based on how I uh, decided to design my card. So here you want to make sure that you're stamping, making sure that you're getting good ink coverage. And I know I have a little bit of ink here, but I oh, see I messed it up there. I knew I should have stopped that out. But, you know, we always have two sides to our card. So let's get that started again. So I think what I'm going to do is I, you know, what happens with some of these is that the block's too big, so it takes up too much of that space. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to a smaller block. That's kind of a, a tip that I like. See, that way you're really not getting ink on the rest of your block because you're not having it um, kind of the, the size is almost like too big. So let's get this started again. We got there. Much easier. Glad I decided to do that. And I'll put one over here, kind of kind of go around. Now, when you're tapping, you got to make sure that you get good coverage because I've noticed that a couple of times I didn't get coverage on part of my stamp. See, we've got three there. I think I'll do one over here, there's four. And then I'll do one kind of, kind of half on and half off because that's what's nice about um, doing our stamping is we can do any stamping we want. All right, so there's the bigger one. I'll go ahead and put this back. We'll be actually using that a little later. And I'm going to go ahead and do my little flower. And I'm going to do that one. Let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and so I don't do it accidentally because you know how it is when you're blindly stamping. All of a sudden you're stamping on something. You're like, oh, I didn't want that color. <laughs> I've done that many times. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And with the smaller stamps, you can do more. I do like kind of five with my bigger one, but on the smaller one, again, you're going to also kind of go back once you do this and fill in areas that maybe um, you felt like you forgot or it just needs a little something to it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll do one more. You can, like I said, you can always go back and do another one. You just have to kind of see what, what needs to be filled in. All right, so there's that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my little tulip, and I'm going to do that one in Night of Navy. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that out. My Night of Navy over there. It's kind of where my go-to place is for my stamps. And I'm doing a little test there. So I'm going to go ahead and start stamping with that. And again, you don't have to do them all the same. You can do them different directions. I kind of like to kind of do things randomly. You notice I'm not doing a lot on the in, inside of this because as you as I mentioned, I'm my my card's going to be kind of right there. So I can have a little bit of it peeking through, but um, I don't have to have it everything clear right in the middle. Now the other thing I like about doing um, some of my stamping is that I can make this look like a different color too and do some stamp off. And I do, do like to do that sometimes with um, different stamps. It, does, it gives it a whole different dimension. And we'll do one more here. All right. Now, my other stamp that I'm going to be using is my little leaves. And they're a little bit bigger. So that one I'm going to be using in Bumblebee. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. And that way I'm going to be filling in more of an area with this with these stamps here. So what I'm going to do on this one, because I like to do it randomly, I'm going to do a little bit of kind of peeking in, filling in some of these areas. They don't have to be straight. Again, this is just a design. Kind of peeking in on the side. Uh, let's see. Put one there. Put another one more over there. I've got this corner up here. I always tend to try to do a little bit on my corners. All right, let's see. Now, once I put things together, again, you can go back and fill in any of these areas that you decide that, okay, it doesn't have enough color. It needs a little bit more. 
I've got too much white space. So you can kind of get an idea once you start doing some of your um, attaching when you try to put your layers together. So what I'm going to do is put this layer together on the flower. All right. And then I'm going to kind of lay this down and see this is kind of where I'm going to put the card because I am going to put a sentiment down here. So that kind of gives you an idea. So if there's anything that I need to fill in, then I could do so. So I actually, I have a little bit of space here that I actually can go back and do a little bit of, there we go. And then there's a little, maybe a little bit more space over here that I could do something. So I could actually do a little bit of, do maybe one more of those little tulips. And I think I'll stamp off on that to kind of give it a different color. And I'm going to do that right over here and just kind of have it peeking in. How's that? So I think that'll do. I think that's just about right. See, that's what I'm saying. Doing your own background is very random. You just kind of do it with what your eye likes to see. And you can, like I said, you can fill in something. If you don't feel like you have enough area uh, filled up, then you can do that. But I think this works out just perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my card base. And my card base is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting my layer on. See, not, nobody will know about my mistake on the back. because you know, there's two sides to all of our paper. Can't waste it. <laughs> and no, it doesn't matter how long you've been making cards. There's always a time where you have a little bit of a boop. Now, if it's a small boop, you can always use one of my favorite tools, which is my Tombow. Um, mono sand eraser love this it actually will take some of the ink off your paper you just have to kind of work it and do it in circles you don't want to just dig into it because it will tear the paper eventually and it is taking a little bit because it's sanding it it's taking off like that top little layer of your paper but if you find that you've made a mistake and you do it right away it's much easier um like here here's a little bit of a smudge here i can show that to you so um you can just kind of work it with it a little bit, kind of go up and down different directions, back and forth. You don't have to really press very hard on that. But what I'm saying is that, see how it kind of, you don't even see that anymore. So I love this tool. It is almost, it is something I've had in my toolbox for a long, long time. So let's see. Now we've got this and this together. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp uh, my Hey Friend is what I'm going to be using. And this is from the Happy Hippos uh, die set. And I love this set here. Look at that. You get all of these different ones. Even that you do get all the items to go with the Happy Hippo stamp. But I use this as a base for a lot of the um, these um things that I want to put, like a phrase or something that I want to put on my um, stamp on my card so that is a just a must have to me to have that in your stamp set toolbox i love those dies and the things are falling over here so put this over here all right so now you see that i have two of these i'm going to put this on the other side here see i'm using copy paper this way i don't i don't waste anything but you can see I have two of the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment here, and then I'm going to trim this outside edge and then put that on there. And like I said, I'm going to use my Hey Friend. I already measured that earlier to know that. And what you can do to make sure that it is going to work is that you can just set it on there, and you can see that it does fit into um, that area from that die. So you can go ahead and get that started. Let me put this back on my stamp. I've got done my little leaves done for now. And I'm going to pick up my Hey Friend with my block. And I'm going to do that in Night of Navy. Because I sometimes on my sentiments, I like for it to match my base. And I'm going to test that out again. Make sure I've got that ink. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to put that down, try to get that centered. There we go. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty little snips out and I'm just going to snip away those stitched edges as my guide. And that way I know it's going to fit on my layer so you'll be able to see that Knight of Navy underneath. So just a little tip and trick there on how I make things fit. So I have a layer that's the same size, but I'm making that white fit into that Knight of Navy. And then you kind of test it out to make sure that you've got that area filled. And you can always trim it a little bit more if it's not going to. Let's see, there's one little spot over here that I could trim up a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to, now you can, um, I'm just going to use my type runner there really quick to put that on. You can also use your glue if you like. Put that on and then I'm going to take my uh, let's see, I've got my dimensionals. Well, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to make that flat. Whoop, I almost did it. Almost got it in my ink. All right, let's close those up because you know how it is when you start getting wild here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Now, like I said, I'm kind of putting this to the top a little bit because I wanted that to be the focal. And then I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put that down with the dimension on. I want that to stick up just a little bit. So I'm going to put that on. And we've got our outside of our card almost done. So all we have to do is the inside. Except one thing on my outside of my card. You know me, I love my Winka Stella. One of my favorite tools. Because I'm a glitter girl. I just love my bling. So I love, I decided that I was going to go ahead and put just a little bit. And all you're doing is just putting a little bit of a layer of um, our wink, which is a, it's got some glitter in it and some alcohol. So it just, just makes it a little easier. It's got something. So when you're looking at it, you're kind of seeing a little bit of shine. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can see a little bit, but it gives you a little bit of shine and you can put a little on it. You can kind of go back over it again and put more on there. But um, I like it. It just kind of gives a little something extra to your card. And when it starts getting a little dye, all you have to do is like press it once and you'll see more of that. Um, glitter come out again. And don't think that once you're. Um, your Wink of Stella, once you it gets dry, it's not coming out anymore. There's a lot of glitter down here. All you have to do is unscrew this, take the little tube out. There's a little tube there. It'll be full of glitter. You can put a little bit more alcohol in there. Put, a you know, just a little bit more. Shake it up. You'll feel it. And then it'll start coming out. You, I've done this two or three times, and there's still a lot of Wink of Stella in there for that, for all that glitter. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take care of our inside of our card. And I decided that I'm going to use that you are perfectly unique. I'm going to go ahead and send that to one of my friends. And I'm going to go ahead and take this and use my small block again. I love this block. This is block B. And this is a great block to have in your toolbox. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with um, the Flirty Flamingo. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that back out. And then I'm going to put a little design on the corner. So I'm probably going to be needing to use the um, stamps a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside. And go ahead and stamp that. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my own little flower and I'm going to do that with um, the flower that I used as one of my designs, which is this flower. Let me put that on a block so you can see that. That's what I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use my little leaves as, um, let me put this back, as my leaves for the flower and my stem again. So I'm going to do that with Flirty Flamingo. So I'm going to put that here. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my leaves, which they're right here. And I'm going to put one of those 
like I did on the outside. I did that with the Just Jade and the Knight of Navy. Just makes it a little something. I don't like to have my cards naked inside is what I always say. I like to have a little bit of something on the inside. doesn't have to be a big design, but I like to have something in there that um, is complementary to the card besides just the sentiment. All right, go ahead and put that down. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and get my little stem that I used before. Put that down, and I'm going to do that in the little polymer stamps are a little sticky sometimes, so they always want to stick to your finger. Oh, that's just the one I wanted to use was just jade. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there as my stem. And there we go. There's my flower. Go ahead and put all of these back up. And I got my card right here. Put a little bit of adhesive in there just to get it down. And there is today's card. Let's move this out of the way so you can see that. And now the other little item that I just love is our opal rounds. They've got a little bit of glimmer in them. So you can leave them clear or you can actually color them with our blends. So you can actually make them a particular color. But I love these as an accent. And I decided that I wanted one of these for the for the middle of my card for my flower to make it pop. Don't you think that makes a big difference there? Isn't that pretty? So we've got our background, we've got our flower, we've got our inside done. Isn't that just a pretty card? Now let me show you the card that I made yesterday that you can go over to Paper Crafts by Elaine on Facebook and look at this card. I made this with our Stamparatus. Isn't that a pretty design? This is that um, DSP that I was talking about on there, but that I will show you how to do this on your Stamparatus just by placing and turning and then you can keep this that it looks just like a perfect circle on that, doesn't it? It's a it's a really easy technique to you, but the Stamparatus is a must on that. And that is the card that I made um, yesterday. So you can go over to that and take a look at that. But those are the cards for today that you can see. I love the In Symmetry stamp set, and I hope you do too. And I look forward to my next video next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. So I hope you join me then. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy crafting. Bye now.